Well then, it looks like Clay decided to actually let the community play the rework instead of simply reading about it and potentially misinterpreting some bullet points, am I right? But folks, the Wolf Gain rework is out now in beta form. Clay is also looking for some constructive feedback too, so expect everything to be highly subject to change. But without further ado, Let's lift. And we begin with his stats, as not only have they been simplified themselves, there is a whole new one to highlight as well, his mightiness. Mightiness is no longer directly tied to hunger, and instead is tied to his new mighty meter here. A meter that has a maximum of 100 points of mightiness mined. For the most part, we'd expect to lose a point of mightiness every 15 seconds or so. However, the hungrier Wolfgang is, the faster that becomes, but we'll be talking about that in a minute. For now, note how all three stats rest at 200 each, and here is where they will remain regardless of his mightiness. Very different compared to the original Wolfgang. But when and how do we actually go mighty now, Beard? Ah, from 0 to 25 points of mightiness, Wolfgang will be wimpy, which is no surprise. From 26 to 75 points of mightiness, he will sit comfortably in his quote-unquote normal mightiness state. And finally, from 76 to 100 points of mightiness, he will be shirtless and ready to roll in his mighty form here. So that's the when. What's the how? Well, to get mighty nowadays, we need to work out. And no, I'm not kidding. We need to actually lift weights and stuff in game in order to maintain mightiness. So thankfully, there are several ways to do so. Starting with his dumbbells here. Wolfgang spawns in with one basic dumbbell already in his inventory, and any additional ones will cost four rocks and one twig to create, and are available immediately via his very own crafting tab. The tab also offers the mighty gym at the cost of boards, cut stone, and rope, along with a golden dumbbell craft that will have us forking over gold, cut stone, and twigs instead. But don't miss out on one final craft here, as it's easily the best one he's got. The Gem Bell. You will be needing to press the Hatitator to access it, however. But how do these dumbbells actually work, you ask? Get to lifting a basic dumbbell while wimpy, and expect to gain just under a point of mightiness every lift meaning it's going to be quite the slow progress at the end of the day. You will be needing several of these if you're looking to go from zero to hero, if you know what I mean. And that's made even worse when you consider how a normal dumbbell's progress will slow down even more once you reach your normal and mighty forms. Like, much, much slower, actually. So yeah, you might not want to bother with normal dumbbells, honestly. But hey, here's something fun and unexpected, albeit completely useless. When mighty, all these dumbbells can be thrown for half their damage in an area of effect type of deal, so there you go. It's kind of strange, but it has potential for sure. But how does the golden dumbbell stack up, Beard? Well, when Wimpy, the thing grants just shy of two points of mightiness per lift, which is a huge step up in progress, obviously. Use it while in your normal form, and it will still grant about a point of mightiness per lift, which is very nice. But continue to use it while fully mighty, and you will barely receive half a point of mightiness per lift. So keep that in mind. But the creme de la creme is the gem bell, everyone. For you see, regardless of how mighty you are, the gem bell grants just shy of two points of mightiness per lift each and every time, all the way from zero to a hundred. And it's pretty darn cheap too. Factor in how dumbbell lifting does not drain his hunger, very, very unlike the gym to come, and lifting on the go should not be an issue. It's good stuff, and it could be a heavy hitting ranged weapon at that. But yes, about that gym. What's its deal? Well, it's pretty darn straightforward actually, and looks very don't starvey. Two things that I was very afraid of. So it's all a plus in my book. But when you first build the thing, it will come with two potato sacks each with a weight of one. 
and we'll have more on that in a bit. Start to use the thing, and a little mini game begins that sees you trying to hit a specific area in the middle over and over and over again to help build mightiness. If you miss, it's not that big of a deal, I think. But gyms with two to three weight will have us gaining roughly 1.5 points of mightiness per successful lift, but put more weight on it, and things get interesting. Everything you see here counts as two weight each for a total of four weight on the gym itself. So hitting the mark now raises mightiness by a little over three points each time, which is not too shabby. And while there are some in-between values and items to be used as weights, it's best to just skip all the way to boss statues in order to double mightiness gains to six, nearly seven points of mightiness each lift. And yes, it has to be boss statues specifically for some reason. It's easy and fast. Be mindful though, the more weight used, the more hunger will drain with each lift. And if you're curious, just watch how low mine drops here to get a picture. And folks, there you have it. That is how we work out as Wolfgang and Don't Stop Together after today. So then, it's time to talk the rest of his rework. Speaking of that hunger nonsense, while it's not directly tied to mightiness anymore, it still kinda matters when it comes to both gaining and losing it actually. The hungrier Wolfgang gets, the faster the mighty meter will fall. And at high hunger, the drain is almost non-existent. However, even come half hunger, things aren't too bad as you can see, which all leads to maintaining mightiness easier after today. Get close to starving levels of hunger though, and things will quicken for sure. Still not that quick actually, but quick enough as you can see. And finally, actually begin to starve and you will regret it fast. No surprise there. So eat up. Just not as much as you had to in the past, thankfully. But about that quote-unquote maintaining mightiness easier notion, it's actually a thing now. Since hunger doesn't dictate mightiness anymore, Wolfgang now deals constant damage at his mighty form versus the original fluctuation that we would see before the rework as hunger was dropping. In short, Wolfgang is more consistent in his mighty forms. Now this doesn't mean much for day-to-day -day fights, however it's gonna be huge for bigger, better, and much longer ones for sure. And this all extends to his wimpy form too, mind you, as even the original wimpy Wolfgang got even worse over time. But not this new guy. This means better damage overall, even at your lowest form. And that's not bad. But continuing with this combat stuff here, Wimpy Wolfgang will now take 20% more damage over others and his various forms. So when an unarmored hit from a tree guardian should deal 49.5 damage, Wimpy Wolf will take 59.4. So be careful out there. Especially if you've been playing Wolfgang lately and have gotten used to his speed, as unfortunately, he no longer has it. No matter his mightiness, no matter his form, Wolfgang is now the very same speed as everyone else. Make note. But here's where that's not actually true. When carrying heavy stuff. Now Sneaky Clay made it to where all characters got a speed boost when carrying heavy items after this update. But Mighty Wolfgang will still take the cake and eat it twice before anyone even knows it's actually there if you know what I mean. Also, Wolfgang will not lose mightiness when carrying stuff anymore, so use that information as you please as there might be some cheeky little methods you can do out there now. Oh, and all this does look like it will apply to both the piggyback and even marble armor to boot, and that latter one is quite interesting. But a few last notes here. Wolfgang will now freeze and overheat faster when he is in his wimpy form, but much, much slower while in his mighty form. Now, I don't think there's a need to talk much about it, as I think what you see is pretty self-explanatory. Just expect the very same deal when heating up too, and you'll be golden. But finally, Wolfgang will now suffer a 25% drain to his sanity while in darkness or around monsters instead of his original 10%. But stay near friends and it will actually return to that very same 10% drain instead. 
Yeah, it's not a very good negative, honestly, but it's still kind of nice that they added it. And hey, it's still a beta. And with that in mind, there you have it, everyone. The Wolf Gang rework to the best of my limited knowledge, of course. This rework kind of sort of dropped out of nowhere late last night. So hopefully I did cover most of it. Although I get the feeling I'll have to do it again as the rework might get a rework for the first time in quite some time. Now, while I am withholding some final judgments because of that, I gotta say, it's not as bad as people are making it out to be. Sure, it's different. Sure, it's a little tedious and annoying here and there. But a few minor tweaks will really have this looking like a pretty decent rework. If you have some thoughts for yourself, please share them down below because Clay wants them. But thanks for watching, folks. Well wishes to all. Go get swole while you can. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.